me Inia Collazo. I'm the Embryology Lab Director here at IVFMD. I wanted to talk to you about embryo grading, which is one of the questions that we have are more, more common from our patients. If you're a patient here, you probably have seen our grading system with a numerical value followed by letters on it. So uh, the numerical value just means the grade of expansion of a day five, day six, embryo or day seven it goes from all the way from one to seven in, in our grading system one is obviously an early blastocyst and uh six is a completely hatch out uh embryo so when we're looking at an embryo uh a blastocyst which is a stage of development of the embryos that we require preserve biopsy or transfer this is how blastocyst looks like this is a day five embryo okay so the expansion would be this here, the cavity that is considered an expanded blastocyst is a category three based on the expansion. The second letter will identify or describe this portion over here, which is the inner cell mass or ICM. That's where the baby's going to come from. And it's graded from A through D, A being the best. And then this portion over here that looks like cobblestones and is hatching out is what we call the trophectoderm, and that will be the second letter, also graded from A through D. In this case, this embryo has a, what we call a compacted inner cell mass or baby component. This is where the baby is going to come from. It's very nice and compacted, so it's a category A. And this over here is a, as an embryo that I will grade it as a category B for the trophectoderm portion that's where the placenta is going to come from among other things so when we do a biopsy on an embryo this is the area that we touch never touch the ICM so in this case we probably will take this portion that is extruding out of the embryo and send it for analysis so this is considered a good quality embryo if we give it a couple of hours this embryo is going to be probably occupying this whole uh, thing here and the grading system will change. At this time of development, the embryos grow very quickly and it will be very common for us to grade an embryo early in the morning, uh, grade it differently than we will be grading it in the afternoon or two or three hours later. And it's just because the embryo is growing very fast. If we in turn come to this embryo over here, you're gonna see that this embryo looks similar, but it looks very similar in terms of expansion, but it looks quite different. This embryo has the ICM is right here, and then also has what we call cells that come from the day three cleavage stage that are still in the embryo that the embryo is pushing out. That's what you see here. The cells not gonna do anything. You have some over here also, and you will also see that this embryo has some signs of stress. If you look closer here, that's signs of fragmentation. Fragmentation are when the uh, things that the embryos do that they do not like and they toss it aside. It's not part of the embryo, so you can see that. So when we see that we downgrade the embryo automatically, the fact that it has what we call floaters in it will also downgrade the embryo. And the fact that the cells that make the placenta, they appear to have less. There are some areas that have tons of cells in it, some areas that have less cells. So in this case, this embryo will downgrade it to a C in terms of uh, trophectoderm and an A in terms of ICM. So two different type of embryos. Uh, this is a day six embryo, but it's an embryo that we consider number one was a good quality. This is a fair quality. This is an embryo that will most likely do not uh, 